Now we're less than one minute away from that uh, scheduled undocking of Endeavour and the station. Copies. And Endeavour in the International Endeavour in the International Space Station no longer docked. You see the motion away uh, in this photo. Springs have pushed Endeavour downward in this view from the International Space Station. Momentarily, um, Endeavour pilot Greg uh, Johnson will activate thruster just. That will move Endeavour uh, more quickly away from the station. Endeavour pilot Greg Johnson, a flying Endeavour, this uh, carefully planned corridor, he'll move to a point about uh, 450 feet uh, directly in front of the station. Station reporting. It's Endeavour departing. And that ceremonial ringing of the station's bell, noting the departure of the space shuttle Endeavour. Expedition 16 Commander Peggy Whitson and Endeavour Commander Don Gorey. As Endeavour departs the International Space Station after a docked period of 11 days, 20 hours and 36 minutes. That undocking occurring uh, just over the uh, Indian Ocean, a bit northwest of Australia. This still sequential video view of uh, the pressurized mating adapter now vacant on the forward end of the harmony node of the International Space Station. You see the sequence advancing as Endeavour moves slowly away.
endeavoring to con continuing to move slowly away from the forward end of the International Space Station. Endeavour now coming up on the 80 feet, uh, separating it uh, from the International Space Station. You see here, uh, slowly uh, receding. Quick recap as Endeavour moves away from the International Space Station, now about 90 feet separating the two spacecraft. Endeavour's undocking was delayed by about uh, 29 minutes. The culprit was uh, the failure of a latching mechanism to engage. The mechanism controls the angle of uh, one of the solar wings on the P6 truss, the outboard truss on the left side of the International Space Station. A second command to that device called the Beta Gimbal Assembly or BGA was sent. The commands take about, uh, well, up to 15 minutes uh, to initiate and that second command was successful. With notification of the success of that second command, flight controllers here in the shuttle flight control room uh, picked up the timeline for undocking at five minutes before separation. That separation occurring at uh, 7.25 p.m. Central Time, just off the Australian coast.